Well, I've had dinner and now it's time to drill the pilot holes. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Gordon here at Fizz with Welcome Guitars. Welcome to the channel and I hope you enjoy watching this video of me making the neck for the Great Guitar Build-Off competition in 2021. Please enjoy. Six millimeters. It's a brad point, but I don't want that brad point to come through the other side. So I've got to be very, very mindful of just how deep I go with this. So I'm going to be ginger Lee, very ginger, and uh, not include very much. So nine millimeters is very little. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go eight or so millimeters, which is barely anything. Get a bit of tape on that. Okay, so it's just beyond eight mil. I will stick that on there. It's barely anything. what I'll do after I'll do this again but I'll do it with a um, metal drill bit to finalize the depth I don't actually have to go all the way <laughs> I don't actually have to go all the way down to the bottom of the nine mil because I expect the router bit to do the final up to nine millimeter for me. See if I can get this one in the bin. Oh, camera tripod got it in the way. <laughs> yeah, it's about six mil. That's good. Oh yes, I almost forgot. I wanted about eight and a half. That'll do. That means I'll only have about 0.4 mil for the router bit to go into the wood. Still doesn't look like, like very much. It's about right. I am being extremely cautious. And there we 
we have it. Pilot holes are ready for truss rod. Hi everyone, I've just set up to route my truss rod channel. So, truss rod double action. It's going to go into the guitar neck. I've put in a brand new 6mm bit into my router. So I've set the depth stop at one stop or three stops so that I take off a little bit at a time so I don't overburden the uh, router bit. I've also put in uh, my vacuum cleaner into the back and just as an additional handy little trick I've taken a little keyring LED light and I'm going to use that to illuminate my way like so. I know it's not the safest or the best way to do it but it is it's not going to get in the way and it's going to give me a little bit of light in order to see what I'm doing. And all I've got to do is push that forward uh, one, two, three, four times and I have a truss rod channel. I've already measured the depth. One other thing, I'm going to put a little extra light on the router so that uh, you can see what I'm doing. Last thing, health and safety. I'm dealing with mahogany. It's very dusty. Wish me luck. I didn't make it all the way. I also forgot to turn the vacuum cleaner on. Channel. It's nice and tight, and the truss rod fits damn near perfectly into it. Ugh. Okay, oh, well, that was easy. Just want to check. Somehow managed to make it slightly over nine mil. Ugh. Well, it shouldn't be too bad. It's like nine and a half mil. A little deeper than I wanted to go, but it should be all right, I hope. Right, so the next thing I'm going to do is slice, slice off that brake angle there so that I can drill the hole in and install the truss rod. See you then. Hi everyone, Gordon here again from Fezzo Velcan Guitars. Today I'm going to be cutting the brake angle on my neck OD. I'm going to first check to see which one of the sides is the straightest to make sure that that's the side I cut or I use as a reference down on the bottom to cut the neck. Yeah, it's not great. 
Let's try the other side. That's a lot better reference point. It shouldn't really matter which side I'm using. I'm going to use this side because it is flatter. Just hopefully uh, it'll, it'll make a slight difference, but it doesn't need to make a massive difference because I'm going to leave myself some room. I've drawn my line. I did a 13 degree break angle on the neck here and I've drawn in the lines and I've showed where my nut ends and the neck of the headstock begins. So I'm going to cut that off so that I can then drill the hole and install my truss rod. So cut it straight down there. how straight this thing cuts. I bought a really cheap, nasty 80 pound brand new from China um, bandsaw, which was um, good for half a guitar and then it was a piece of crap. And then I bought this thing. So that's, that's, my, um, that's my philosophy with tools. Enjoy buying the cheapest, nastiest tool. And when you can't live without it and it breaks down on you, go and buy a proper one. Look at that, it's just amazing. It's so freaking cool. The next thing I'm going to do is drill the hole for the truss rod and see if I can get the truss rod installed tonight. Damn, that wedge is just, and that was freehand. All right, just in case you're wondering, just in case you're wondering, I've measured the depth of the hole. I've measured the depth of the truss rod. And what I did was I subtracted the top of the truss rod and then halved the bolt and found my placing. So I hope you can see this. Maybe you'll be able to see this. It will sit, the, the top of the truss rod will sit flush and the center point Try and get it close to the camera. It may not even make it to the cut. There we go. So, truss rod flush with the top, and then straight down the center of the bolt. That's where I'm cutting. So, I have made a pencil mark, yes. I also need a center line, so I'll use my micrometer to give me a center line. Yeah, sure, I've got a cheap micrometer. I didn't buy a Mitutoyo, I think it's called. So that's 6246. 3123, 3123, 3123. Yep, dead center. I was able to check the measurement from both sides and it ended up in exactly the same point, which means I found my center line. And I should actually, 
find my center line elsewhere. Probably don't need the center line here. I need it up on the top. Thanks for watching that video guys, there's plenty more to come so why not click on subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you'll get to see the future videos when I bring this idea of mine to life and hopefully demonstrate it before the close of the Great Guitar Build Off 2021 competition. I'll see you then, have a great day guys, keep up, well. bye!